Hey, it's Dorinda again. I thought I'd show you a little video on how to mix up the metallics and how to make some fun colors with them. So I've got some bright tone here. I'm going to pour off just a little bit in each cup so that we can just play with some colors and see what happens. So, I'm going to start with metallics. Um, these are concentrated metallics, concentrated liquid mica, actually. And um, all you need is just a little bit. Um, so, I'm going to drop a little tiny bit in there and stir this up. Make a cool silver. That's a lot. You see how concentrated that is? Um, and... Let's do another one with silver so I don't have to go back and do it again. These are fun. You can use these to do swirls and drip them on your cups. Um, I'm going to show you how to make some different colors with them, which is kind of neat. That's I've got two silvers. I'm going to do a gold. And just take a little tiny bit and mix it in here. We'll have some fun with some colors. See how pretty that is? Ah, I love the gold. And a little bit. And you know what? I probably should do some of the rose as well. Because I'm curious to see what that's going to look like. I haven't played with that with the colorants yet. So, let me get some of that. I have some on my shelf. This is the rose. And we'll just do two with rose. Stir it up a little and just put a little dab in here. You can see it. Gosh, that's so pretty. One more. Okay, now that I've got my mic is mixed up, did you see how tiny of a, a little tiny bit I used? You can go more if you want a more concentrated or just a tiny bit if you just want a little bit of sparkle. But this is the part I love. I'm going to show you. This is the number five. I have it in a big little big squeeze bottle here. I'm just going to put, whoo, that was more than a drop, but anywho. Put a little bit in there and now this is literally going to make blue mica isn't that beautiful it's so pretty um we'll do the same thing over here in the gold so you can see what it looks like in the gold i just got one drop in at that time and oh my gosh can you see that it's like a kind of a teal. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I have to show you guys what this looks like on a card because it's really beautiful. And you can't really see what it looks like until it's brushed out. So look at this. It's actually like blue mica. So you can play with these basic um micas and make colors with them you don't have to be stuck to just gold and silver and all that I don't have another brush here so I'm gonna pour out a little bit here look at this one it's absolutely beautiful it's green and it's gold oh, I can't pick it up on the light um but anyway really pretty um let's see here I'm gonna put some green into the silver and see what that looks like. Very pretty. 
Um, we'll put some of that on the card. Can you see it? It's a really pretty green mica. It's got all the beautiful sparkles in it. What I wanted to try, I haven't tried this yet, but because of this, um, this rose is a really pretty kind of a pinkish red, I thought maybe if I add blue, I might get a really cool purple. So, I'm gonna try it. Boop. And see what it looks like. Ooh, it is. It's kind of a purple blue. Um, with a pink undertone. Oh, that's pretty. Can you see it? It's not the best video. I'm not good at doing videos, but just try to show you what I've got here. Let me get a new card and I'll just pour some on it. Ready? Look at that color. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. If you push on it, you can see the blue behind it, but oh wow, it's purple and pink. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this really quick so you could see how to easily change up your liquid micas and, and make all kinds of different colors. You don't have to be stuck to just using what's there. Experiment, add a couple drops into what you have, and you'll get all kinds of crazy combinations. I'm going to try putting some white into the blue and silver and let's see what happens there oh it's clogged up never mind Have to open it let's see if I can get just a little drop there we go a little bit of white in there and make it a little more pastel worked still really pretty I think if you put white into the silver too you could get a really pretty iridescent kind of color you can mix the green and the blue let's try that you can see it I've got a really beautiful turquoise now so anyway that's it have fun